there, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of May 9th to the 15th. Do keep in mind that time is fluid, and check your other chart placements out on my channel. Let's get right into it, Virgo. We are getting you an angel for the week to see what angel is near you and helping you throughout this week. And your angel, Virgo, is the angel of challenges, card number four. All right, so a lot of my Virgos who have been dealing with a lot of challenging times, a lot of difficulties, you are receiving help from divine this week. The angels are hearing you. They hear your prayers. They hear your words. They hear you talking to them and they're coming in to help you through whatever challenge you may be going through right now. Could be financially, could be a work situation, could be, um, your own financial situation could be a love situation. It could really be anything. Maybe you're going through a health challenge or a challenge within self. Spirit is coming to help you, Virgo. So let's see what your moon your moonology manifestation card is. And you have full moon in Capricorn. Take a reality check. All right, so some of you may have Capricorn energy in your chart or around you. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. The spirit is really indicating a energy around staying grounded or receiving a sense of grounded energy. If you've been worrying about something, the good news is that you shouldn't waste another moment worrying, as this won't help. This card is indicating that some things only happen once, and that can be really good news. If you're wondering about how something you're keen on is going to turn out, this card could be a sign that you may have been hitting a roadblock. Wow, definitely why the challenge <clears throat> coming through with the angel. If you want to change that, you're going to need to put in extra effort with your manifesting work and believe that all will work out in your favor. Yes, and that's why you have the angel of challenges helping you through this here, Virgo. So let's get your affirmation moon card and see what your affirmation for the week is. So spirit is really coming to help you over something that has been feeling very difficult, very challenging, maybe very much creating a lot of blockages in your life. All right, Virgo. So you have this card and it says, I shine my light outwards for all to see moon goddess Diana. Beautiful. Yes, Virgo. So I definitely feel like this angel of challenges is really going to be helping you very drastically this week. Let's look and see what they are helping you with. What's going on here specifically for Virgo. Please give me the tarot on this. We're going to get three tarot theme cards and then clarify these theme cards. This is for Virgo. All right, Virgo. So you have here awaiting results. The Seven of Pentacles. Your challenge could be around waiting for something. We have Embrace. This is the world. We also have Death. This is Release. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for something difficult to end. There it is. Um, two cards of an ending here. I feel like you're really waiting for a very difficult cycle to come to a close here. With the Seven of Pentacles, you may feel like you have the control on closing this cycle, or you may feel like you're waiting for it to energetically close out and dissipate from your life. It definitely could be around your career and finances with the Seven of Pentacles. You may have been waiting for this difficulty to go away. You may have been waiting for a certain health issue or a certain feeling or a certain mood that you've been in to be gone, to feel better. Let's clarify this for Virgo. <clears throat> Some of you may have been or are in separation with love or there has been a very large energy of weight around love. That could definitely be coming to a close if that has been difficult, waiting for love, waiting for love to come in, waiting for love to get better. Let's see, seven of pentacles to the two of pentacles. On the world, we have the ten of pentacles. And on release, we have the queen of cups. Yeah, so I definitely feel like for a lot of you Virgos, if this has something to do with financial money, things are going to get better for you. Um, 
if you own a home or you are part of a energy of a foundation for home and like you don't have to own a home you could just like ha you could like rent an apartment some of you were very uncertain about if you were going to have enough money for something if you were going to have a mo enough money to take care of yourself to take care of your family to take care of the things that you own and you will have enough money. There has been a weight around that though. And spirit wants you to know that you will. Some of you, you may have felt like you lost money or money hasn't been coming in as quickly for you. But it looks like it's definitely going to start to pick up. You're definitely starting to feel a lot more grounded. Some of you may have been waiting for a marriage to reconcile or rekindle. That also could be happening. Clarify this for Virgo. We have the King of Wands, we have Death again, and we have the Sun. Yeah, so I definitely do feel like for a lot of you Virgos, there's a lot of things changing in terms of your home life, your work life, and for a while, I feel like you've been wanting things to change because things haven't been the greatest. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you're taking on a lot at work. Possibly there is um, a need for you to ask for assistance I definitely feel money. For some of you, this could be a separation that was between you and another person. Could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a lover. It does look like there's more emotional expression and happiness in this connection. So you have the seven to the ten of pentacles, which is showing me that for some of you, there's a full on transformation to the separation that you two were having definitely could be coming into a sense of togetherness with a family member, a friend or a lover. But I really feel work here for you. It's like something hasn't been going exactly up to par for your finances and, and how you take care of yourself. And you really want to have that back. And it looks like it's returning back in a way that's really helping you release the weight, release the struggle, release the uncertainty, release the stress, right? The nine of swords, king of swords, beautiful, and the world. There you go. So you have the world here twice and you have death here twice. So for a lot of you, it's finally the ending of the challenge. And this is a reading where you want to see the world twice and death twice because you did get the angel of challenges. You did get that full moon in Capricorn talking about a blockage or a struggle. So there are huge blocks being removed, especially around your connection to somebody. I feel like it doesn't have to be love. I feel like it could be platonic friend. It could even be your boss that you two were like difficult or having problems with for quite some time. Others of you, this definitely could be some sort of difficulty you are having in terms of your finances, your security, your foundation, doing things for yourself, having things for yourself and making sure that you can pay for the things that you do have, as well as be in a position of able to spend. So let's see, why is the world here for Virgo? The Knight of Wands, exactly. See, you feel a lot more enthusiastic. You feel a lot more happy. You feel a lot more excited about your money. You feel like a lot more excited about this connection with this person, this relationship, because it's finally looking up where for so long there was so much uncertainty. There was so much weight. There was so much stress over the challenge here that you've been feeling, whether for finances, for people, or for both, it's finally subsiding here, Virgo, and it's going to feel really good to you. It's really going to feel good to you with that Knight of Wands. You're going to finally feel that sense of just uplifting like energy where you may have been feeling so in your mind or so stressed. So very strong Scorpio energy. You also have Leo as well. Capricorn up there. Let's see what we have in your Oracle for love. This is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have healthy choices. We have sunglasses. Somebody's watching you. You are watching them. And we have girl talk. So some of you Virgos during this situation 
of whatever has been happening in your love life. Some of you are single. You may be being watched by somebody that you don't really know. Definitely talking with friends a lot. Definitely having that energy of feeling like you have people that you can talk to. Let's see here. Some of you maybe during this separation or hard time, you've been talking to friends a lot, hanging with friends a lot. Camera to healthy choices, the chaser to sunglasses and engagement ring. Yeah, so I definitely feel like for a lot of you Virgos, the chaser is definitely watching you very closely if you are the runner. I feel like this person is talking to their friends about how they want to be with you and how they want to have some sort of commitment with you. I feel like this person is rest reminiscing over your um, pictures, over your memories together. This person is specifically telling people that they want to commit to you or you are specifically telling people that you want to commit to this person. It could be either way. Um, you may have also a secret admirer that is telling everybody else that they're interested in you but you. That very much could be happening for some of my single Virgos. So thank you, Virgo, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.